I spend most of my time in the Elder Scrolls Online running away from things. Accidentally wandering into higher level areas, then running away. Realising I can steal stuff, then running away. Realising I can murder random people in town, then running away. Seriously, it's hard to get any levelling done with all this running. Elder Scrolls Online is still a very new game. It only launched a couple of years ago in 2014. Just like Star Wars The Old Republic, Elder Scrolls Online takes a popular single player game franchise, The Elder Scrolls, and MMOifies it. And similarly to The Old Republic, Elder Scrolls Online had a bit of a shaky time after launch with its subscription only model, but has since found some stability with a free to play model. It's one of the most popular MMOs at the moment. I've always struggled to connect to the world of the Elder Scrolls in the past. I haven't enjoyed any of the franchise's hit games. I know, I'm weird. They've just required more commitment to slowly exploring a fantasy land alone than I've been willing to commit. But with Elder Scrolls Online, I've been able to get into it a bit more. Being surrounded by the bustling activity of other players helps, so does the third person perspective, which I've always liked more for motion sickness reasons, plus half of the fun of these games is seeing your character do cool stuff. There's first person as well though, if you're into that. Immersion is clearly a key factor in the design of Elder Scrolls Online. The user interface is designed to be extremely low impact and distraction free. Its simplicity also helps with the game's console ports. I respect this design a lot, but I really struggle to get used to it. In an MMO there are so many menus that you're accessing all the time, and it annoys me how hidden lots of the information is. There isn't even a mini-map. Of course, there are third-party add-ons you can get which add all of this functionality, but I really hate mods in general. In my experience, they very rarely mesh with the rest of the game. So you're probably starting to get that I'm a bit negative on this game, and it isn't really for me. Which is disappointing because I think it's a really amazing game. The world is impressive and a joy to explore. It's pretty open but not entirely seamless. There are a fair few loading screens involved. It's one of the best looking MMOs around for sure. The night and day and weather effects are magical. The music is composed by my man, Brad Derrick. I call him my man because I've been a huge fan of his work ever since I first heard what he was doing for Warhammer Online back in like 2007. I love the whiff of tragedy in most of his music. Here he picks up Jeremy Saul's iconic Elder Scrolls theme and runs with it, creating a drop dead gorgeous sonic landscape with wondrous themes and perfectly clanging combat loops. Speaking of combat, it's awesome. I'd call this an action MMO. You're pretty much always sprinting around the world, you can pick up and wield any weapon you want. The skill point system allows you to be pretty creative and individual with your powers and abilities. The way you can quickly switch between a secondary weapon is fantastic. Sometimes I find it's a bit hard to see what's going on in combat because there's so much magics being thrown around, but hey, it's pretty. Being an Elder Scrolls game, there's obviously tons of story. So much story. It's big and deep, but unfortunately I find it mostly blandly told, with slow exposition delivered at you like this. It gladdens my heart that you have an interest in the history of our land and its people. The cutscenes you can walk around in are cool though. There's the faint air of dynamicness to the world. For example, some quest givers will run up to you asking for help in a pretty immersive way. And like I mentioned, you can steal from and murder NPCs. Go no farther, milk drinker! You don't have to confess anything. I can't let you walk away! It's kind of thrilling, but in my experience doesn't seem very worth it. It doesn't pay to break the law. Just like in real life, am I right? The game seems to cater a bit more to solo players than groups. There's a big PvP zone with three faction warfare which seems very epic, but it's really hard to do anything there as a low level. I eventually realised that after dying exactly 10 million times. The mega server technology is great, means there's only one server per region for the game and you'll never be unable to play with friends. This is what I would call a blockbuster MMO. It's huge and totally AAA. But as a fan of the more traditional MMO style, this game's focus on action and deep fantasy lore just doesn't connect with me. I find it a wee bit tedious. But I do kind of feel like I've only scratched the surface. I'll certainly play Elder Scrolls Online more in the future. Until we speak again, 
Seriously, don't steal and or murder. 